to my channel today I have for you my boxy charm it came in early as well so if you just saw my last video you'll notice that I'm wearing the same thing I'm filming it the same day so here you go two for one right I want to see what's in it don't you so first off let's see they always have so many spoilers so it's kind of hard not to know what you're gonna get but they only showed like three items this time. So for those who didn't see what they were giving, this one's for you. The theme for this month is glitz and glam. And usually we don't look at this till the end. This is what it looks like. And the first thing that I'm seeing in here is a palette of some sorts from Real Her. Which is nice and sealed. It has this plastic over it. So we're just going to cut that open bring it on in get in here show all the goodness and then as if it's not sealed already it has a little box to keep it protected this is the be fearless and be limitless it's a blush kit Ooh, it comes with a mirror which i'm gonna hide and it comes with these three blushes Ooh. oh at first i thought they were like a cream but it's just the plastic that's in front of them they are powdered blushes Ooh, that middle one is like yes calling my name this right here is more like a bronzing color for me they're all kind of nice so fearless limitless and unstoppable yes girl that is me I am fearless limitless and unstoppable so this was really cute I like this. Who am I kidding? I love everything that's beauty. Come on. Who are we kidding here? No one. The next thing I am seeing is a brush from Crown Brushes. Ew. I also, I love everything. Like when I say, oh, I love blush. Oh, I love eyeshadow. Oh, I love, I love everything. I love brushes too. What don't I collect? So oh, this is the brush right here. Oh, it's so sleek. I love this white. And the brush is really nice. I wish I knew what kind of brush it was. But you know what? Maybe I should read that card. That would tell me what this is for. But for me, it looks like a nice like face brush. And then we have a product that I am already familiar with. This is the Tarte Tardius uh, Mascara. And I actually have... This same mascara, probably not open. I am familiar with it, so this is a good one. Can never have too many mascaras. The next thing that is like shooting out at me is this lippy right here. This is by Pretty Vulgar. And look at this. Look at those roses on here. It's so beautiful. I love like the vintage rose type thing. Now, this color is pretty, but it got some glitter in here <sighs> you all know how I feel about glitter well let's see let me look at it oh look and you can even tell like do you see this collecting in there it ooh, okay so it has the dull foot applicator which we all know and have seen is this wait is this a lippy or is this an eyeshadow just swatching stuff without knowing what I have in my hand. My lips are sealed. So it must be a lipstick of some sort. I mean, I don't know. It doesn't feel goopy on my hand. I mean, I don't have it on my lips, so I wouldn't really know. But that is the shade right there. It's very reflective, and you don't see all the glitter particles that it has in the tube out here which is a good thing and then last but not least there is a beaut basics little box here and let's see Ooh, okay so this has a mirror on one side and this right here is what seems to be I guess contouring and highlighting and bronzing all in one very confused I don't know this is weird 
I was excited. Bronze Essentials. I was I was intrigued at first when I saw it, but then like now looking at this, what am I supposed to do with this? Am I supposed to like use it section by section? Like use this for the bronzing, use this for the highlighting. I uh, confusion. I really don't like when products come all mashed up in one solid brick with everything. That either I have to like mix together or I have to like use individually these things kind of confuse me go ahead and comment below if you're like me who like sees this as a like nonsense and is like why why did you do this why couldn't you just give me two colors divided with their little perforation in the middle and then I can just choose which one I want I guess that's a little OCD right this to me does not feel comfortable but anyway, so let's go ahead and look at prices. That was my rant for that one. The Real Her blush kit is $32. $32? What? Um, $32 for this three uh, cheek set. Real, Real Her must really think they really, they thought they was fearless, limitless, unstoppable and um yeah uh who pays $32 for a blush kit first of all you don't even use this much blush and it's really hard to finish a blush ask me I've been trying to get through a blush forever and I haven't so yeah no one's running out to get a blush kit that I know of <laughs> the crown brush is $12 that's reasonable this is a both powder and cream brush so I guess you could use this with your blushes but this doesn't look like a blush brush because it's so to me even though it's a little it's fluffy but it's not fluffy enough for blush it feels to me I would call this a dense brush so the pretty vulgar lip my lips are sealed is a liquid lipstick that is $24. Who? $24. It is very pretty. That's a little pricey. I don't know. I, am I like lost in touch with what liquid lipsticks cost these days? For some reason, I feel like $24 is pretty pricey as well. But hey, right? And the Tartius or Tartus Tartis. Have I been saying it wrong this whole time? The Tart Tartis <laughs> Lash Paint Mascara is $23, which is their normal price. So, yeah. And then this Bronze Essentials. Let's all skirt, take a pause. $39. 95 what for this first of all the packaging is kind of flimsy it's not even that pretty um again who's paying $40 for this who someone's actually paying $40 for this hmm I'm, I'm a little shocked by that price but uh I wouldn't pay for it. I mean, nonetheless, I'm going to try these products out because I did pay $21 for my subscription. But am I uh, am I lost touch with like these prices? $32 for blush, $40 for bronzer, $25 for some lipstick. Who? Wow. Anyway, um that right there is an indication that that this box is worth the $21. Um I honestly I love this. I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of this and I do like the blush set. I mean, I, I wouldn't purchase it myself, but it's something that I like. So, all in all, I feel like it's a good box till you get to that bronzer and then that price. 
So, um, this did not dry down. So, it is a, it's a lipstick. It's a lipstick. It's not a gloss. So, that's comforting. You guys all know how I feel about glosses. So, the total retail value of my box this month was $130 with 95 cents. My, I'm sorry, my jaw just dropped and that price is crazy. It doesn't even make sense to me. But I really would say I love my BoxyCharm subscription. It's the only way that you're getting, well, it's not the only way, but it, it's, it's the nicest way to spend $21 and know that you're always going to have at least 90 or so dollars worth of products without actually spending that price tag so i have to give these products a try and uh, yeah i guess i will be letting you know how i feel about these later on in the month don't forget to like comment subscribe become a member of my family and as always from my house to yours love ya